Good morning, it is RJ and Marshall. It is Friday, March 27th. And before we do our devotional, we're gonna sing a little song. Right, Marshall? Sing a little wheel. Just a little wheel that's turning in, in my heart. There's a, how do you do this? How do you do the Turning in my heart. In my heart, in my heart. There's a little wheel turning in my heart. There's a little bell that's praying in my heart. There's a little prayer that's praying in my heart. In my heart. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The sun is up there. The sun is up there. Look at that. In my heart. In my heart. There's a little prayer that's praying in my heart. There's a little cat that's clapping in my heart. There's a little clap that's clapping in my heart. In my heart, in my heart. There's a little clap that's clapping in my heart. Any more? Yes. There's a little lap that's jumping in, in my, my heart. There's a little that's jump that's, that's jumping, jumping in my heart. In my heart, in my heart. There's a little oh, look jump. look at a butterfly. <gasps> There's a butterfly. In my heart. <laughs> in my heart. <laughs> There's a little jump that's jumping in my heart. There's a little stomp that's stomping in my heart. There's a little stomp that's stomping in my heart. In my heart, in my heart. There's a little stomp that's stomping in my heart. There's a little wheel turning in my heart. There's a little wheel that's turning in my heart. In my heart, in my heart. There's a little wheel that's turning in my heart. Awesome. Thank you, Marshall. Okay, to, so for today's reading, I'm going to turn it over to Kathy uh, Shambly, who is in a location which should be familiar to us all. Uh, Kathy, take it away. Greetings, I'm Kathy Chambly, and I'm here in front of Holy Trinity Episcopal Church to read you today's scripture. It's from 1 Corinthians. Now you are the body of Christ and individually members of it. And God has appointed in the church first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then deeds of power, then gifts of healing, forms of assistance, forms of leadership, various kinds of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Do all work miracles? Do all possess gifts of healing? Do all speak in tongues? Do all interpret? But strive for the greater gifts. And I will show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. The word of the Lord. Thank you, Kathy, for reading that. As always, the uh, reading is linked to in the comments section below, so you can see it for yourself. It's, uh, again, 1 Corinthians 12, 27 through 13, 3. And in this passage, Paul is talking about the various gifts that have been given to his people um, for the building up of the church, the building up of God's kingdom. Look at that. There's like a little spider or something on the computer that's right. And he talks about uh, these kinds of, of um, gifts, the gift of being an apostle, a prophet, and a teacher. Apostle means messenger. Prophet is somebody who somehow uh, 
mystically can speak God's words for his people, and then talks about those who've been gifted for healing, for service, <clears throat> for leadership. And he talks about how we all have different gifts. And I've seen that in our church, how different people have different gifts and they enable us to do the work that God has called us to do. And as you are perhaps sitting at home, this might be a good time to think about what your gifts are, how God has gifted you uh, for ministry. And I um, linked to a little article from Tyndale House, which publishes um, Bibles and other uh, Christian literature talking about the different gifts of the Spirit that are mentioned in the New Testament. and might be an opportunity for you to think through uh, what gifts you have. But then, of course, lastly, after talking about all of these gifts, um, Paul talks about love, about love and the importance of love. And he says, it doesn't matter what gifts we have um, if we don't exercise them using uh, love. So here's what he says. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I'm a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all of my possessions, but do not have love, I gain nothing. And so as you're thinking through what your gifts for ministry might be, we need to remember always to exercise. Open. Look at the airplane up there. Need to exercise them uh, in the spirit of Jesus, in the spirit oh, look, of there's the cloud love. Over there. Remembering there's clouds, all sorts of stuff. Um, remembering that we love because he first loved us. So I hope you have a wonderful Daddy, Daddy, weekend. Daddy. Um, and I'll see you again. I'll see you on Sunday for worship and then again Monday for our video devotional. Yes. Who's blowing the clouds out of them? Who's blowing the clouds? I think it's an airplane. See, there it is. There's the airplane with the cloud coming out behind it. It's, it's so small. I can't even see it up there. I know. It's very small up there. All right. Well, Marshall, can you say bye and have a wonderful weekend? Bye. You have a wonderful weekend. Bye.